Reunited at last. Students and staff are rolling out the welcome mat for a beloved parrot that was missing. Blue, the macaw, has been part of the family at Homewood Flossmoor High School for years. After he disappeared, word of mouth and a report from CBS2 helped bring him back. CBS2's Maribel Gonzalez has been following this story from the beginning. And Blue is back. The update you'll see only on two. Maribel? Blue is indeed back and the mood here inside the classroom and at the greenhouse much more vibrant than it was last week when we were here reporting on the search for Blue. As you can see, he's back, he's healthy, and the students, they were moved to tears today, happy tears, to be reunited with their colorful friend. I love him so much. A heartfelt reunion as Blue, the beloved bird, is back home. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional because I miss him, and I was scared that he was not going to come back. It was really weird, awkward, because we used to have him blew around, making noises. The vibrant macaw disappeared for five days after he flew away from student Kaylin Kirkman's home. I stayed outside till midnight looking for him. I even got sick because I was outside for so long. She had him over the weekend as part of the Homewood Flossmore Community High School's zoology and botany program. It had been too long since Blue's wings were last clipped so that he wouldn't fly away. We did put up flyers, um, posted on Facebook. My dad posted on Facebook. This is where Blue lives. We even got involved airing a report Friday on their tireless search for him. The program's teacher says a woman recognized Blue from our story and turned him into the police station that night. Seems in great health, eating up a storm. He's, he's um, drinking a lot and, and he's super friendly and, and, and active like, like he has been. Just thankful that there's good people out there. The drop in temperatures and Blue's twisted beak, which requires special feeding, was worrisome to them. But Blue... He's a tough cookie, so I did have a lot of faith in him. Is now back in his familiar habitat, <laughs> playing with the students and teaching them all about science, and now perhaps also a lesson in compassion. I knew with the help of the community, we would be able to get him back. It's unclear exactly how long Blue was outside since he disappeared or where exactly he was found, but the students say they're just happy to have him home. And I think, judging by his attitude today, I think he is as well. We're live in Homewood. Maribel Gonzalez, CBS2 News. A happy homecoming for sure.